The way we view football games is ever changing, with more options than ever before. But it's the new stats available that are making it even more interesting. Whether it be stats during a live broadcast, a heat map in the Telegraph, or a tweet on your team's performances from Opta Joe. And it's companies like Opta that are providing these insightful stats that football fans so dearly crave. So I'm gonna head down to Opta HQ, find out how they collate these stats, and how they use these figures to find the players of the future. This is our football collection claim. How it works is at least two guys in every game, one guy to a home team, the other analyst to do the away team, and we collect all the honourable events during the game. So here's a corner now. So here's the corner. So you choose the player with the shirt number. Then we've got a list of different events. We've got shortcuts on the keyboards. Oh, so, you'd, so you'd cross it in and then you drag to where it went and then you do where the outcome was won or lost. So you get on average about 800 to 900 um, events per okay. team. So tackle for me there. So there we go. This is insane. Yeah, so up to uh, began uh, in the 1990s really, it was a kind of small scale thing. The stats have been collected in this country on cricket, but not on anything else really. So when it started on football, it was very niche. It was hard to believe that people didn't even know what things like assists were. We've got intentional and unintentional assist. So if it's like yeah. a cross and a headed goal, it's an intentional assist, but if it's just a little five yard pass, someone scores from distance, it's unintentional. What exactly is it that you do with this information? Teams mainly use the data for three purposes. So they use it firstly for opposition scouting. So in terms of preparing for the next game, we've got a lot of data on the tactics of that team, the key players in that team. Then there's the, the post-match, so feedback to players using data. So, you know, it's an unbiased um, yeah. data set. Unlike, you know, it, it could just be a coach's opinion on how well the player played. So data can play that sort of unbiased role in there. And then finally into player scouting. So we've got a massive data set on 35 leagues around the world. So if you're going to send a scout to South America, we can tell you, you know, here's the best 10 players you should be focusing your attention on first. So Eredivisie, so, so, so you're in the Eredivisie, Heronveen versus uh, AZ Alkma. There'll be a Heronveen analyst and he'll do that team for the whole season, oh, so wow. you'll know the team really well. At the same time, you're still putting the players' numbers in as well. Yeah. What's the uh, fantasy league like at this office? Is it just pretty intense? We kind of given up on football ones because everyone's too knows too much. So people have spiraled off into you know other sports because you know to try and get a bit of competitive advantage. Just watching you, it's like watching a machine. How much football do you have to watch to get this good at it? Well, I mean, so for an analyst, what we need is really, so we need to have, have, need to have really good football knowledge, need to know all the rules, but they need to have yeah. really good hand-eye coordination. So yeah. Only like a lot of like young guys, gamers are very good. What's the future for this? How, how much further are we going to go stack crazy? The main thing we're going to see in the next five years from the team perspective is the recruitment of advanced data scientists and, and teams really starting to embrace data and make decisions upon it. And certainly with um, you know, financial fair play coming in now and affecting teams, they've got to be smarter and faster at identifying uh, talented players. Well, that's Opta Stats, a company that really is leading the way in football analytics and information. If you want to find out more about them, click the link in the description. And more importantly, subscribe to Copper 90, where we follow all aspects of the game all around the world.